Hey guys, going to do a real quick video on uh, the paint selection that my wife and I made for uh, my 71 C10 truck. If you'll look at the video from yesterday, I painted the top white and I'm going to paint the rest of the truck blue. And if we, I'll try to hold this where you can see it. Anyway, I think we're going to go with this one right here. This Rust-Oleum. It seems to be the closest uh, paint color to this truck that we can come up with. Now, keep I know it's shiny, but when I get done with it, it won't be shiny. And it'll be close enough, I, I think. I'm hoping. Let me say that. I'm hoping that it nobody will notice the difference. It's a whole lot better than this right here that I done yesterday. So I'm going to take I'm going to take this this can here back. It's not it's just a little bit of a shade off, and this one's a whole lot closer to being the color of this blue. As I said, uh, this truck was originally white, the whole truck with green green insert. But I'm just going to paint it blue because I I just like the blue with a white top. My wife does too. And to be honest with you, I had a 71 short bed Chevrolet truck that was this same color blue and white, and we really liked that truck. So I'm just going to fool around with this one and make it blue and white too. And you know what? As I've said, you can't hurt this old truck or any of my old trucks. It's been a pretty good day today. I've got my 1998 Oldsmobile Cutlass back, and uh, it's been gone for several weeks and it's kind of interesting story about this car the uh, the air conditioner went out in it and I was driving it back and forth to work so it's going to get the air conditioner fixed and I thought it just need gassed up well I, I took it to this place and they gassed it up well about a week later it was hot again or if it lasted that long so I took it another place and he he was a little bit more thorough, and he told me my compressor and stuff was bad, so got a new compressor for it and put it on, and come to find it out, uh, the compressor, the brand new one he ordered, it was bad. So I had to send it back, wait for another one. I get, you know, ship the old, old one back, wait for another one to come so he can put it on. So I got it back today, and uh, seems to be doing good. It's this is one of those kind of cars. I don't know if you have one now or maybe you've had one before, but uh, Let me start off by saying I don't like car payments. I surely don't So I've got this 1998 Oldsmobile Cutlass and I've had it for several years and I got it from a friend of mine that I worked with and uh, After I got it, I didn't have <laughs> I didn't have it too long the transmission went out so got a new transmission and it had some May Pop tires on it back then. So got some new tires for it. You know, and I've had the front end line and I've had this and that and this and that. And I guess basically, you know, it kind of adds up to you got quite a bit of money in an old car. But I know it sounds crazy, but uh, I just I just rather put a little money in something like this and not have a car payment myself. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but. You know, knock on wood or maybe this car, it'll get you there and back now that I've said that. But anyway, it, it's a good little old car and it's not worth anything. So it's one of those you're going to have to keep and eat it or whatever. And uh, also, I got old Dookie back today just a few minutes ago from my friend Brian. That Actually, the guy I bought this truck from, uh, the 71. And uh Got old Dookie back and uh, it wasn't running really good. And uh, see if I can find that. Yeah, maybe I can find it. Uh, he showed me the problem was that carburetor. You know, I was, I've had a lot of fix it where to sit still. I've had a lot of problems with the carburetor, and this it was a brand new carburetor. But he got the look, and then the carburetor was made in, uh, or redone or made or whatever in 2004. So I don't know how long it sat on the shelf, but that this little rubber piece right here, the spring uh, pump, I don't know what I'm talking about. I do, but I, 
Sometimes words don't come to me. But anyway, it was split, and he said I had a, the timing was off. So maybe to start doing a little bit better now. I, I drove it around the neighborhood there for just a minute, me and him, and it's it's got it don't have tons of power. It's got a 307 in it, but it runs so much better, and I'm so proud to get this old truck back. But uh, my driveway is once again starting to fill up with vehicles. So, but anyway, I'm glad to get this old truck back. And Brian all, uh, also brought me my uh, brackets. Dang, I don't know what's wrong with me today. My brackets and all this other stuff for AC for for uh, this 71 C10. So, you know, that's kind of that's kind of nice too. It's, so it's been a win-win situation. I've got uh, got some paint that I think is going to work. Got me some sandpaper and stuff too. I'm not showing all that, but I got all that. And uh, got old Dookie back. And uh, and I got my little Oldsmobile back. So it's all good for today. It's I was going to do a little bit of painting on this truck today, but it was 95 degrees by the time we got back home after running to the store and everything and it's just too hot to paint out here in the, with the sun like it is so I just decided I'd just wait till this evening but now it's getting dark like it's gonna storm or have a thunderstorm when it's summertime here in Tennessee it's uh, weatherman a lot of times when I watch him he'll say it's weather you can wear and by golly I believe it it's really humid and it is hot. So, anyway, that's why I didn't get to start old, uh, painting on it yet. But I will here in the next day or two. Hope you liked the video. I don't mean to be long-winded, but I always am. And uh, Please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe and share if you would. And uh, I just got to thinking, this is the first time these two trucks have met. So, I'm ho I'd like to get this truck to set the height of this truck so you can see there's quite a bit of difference but if I can get it to set down about like this right here I'll be real happy we'll see what happens we're just playing it day by day and and pocketbook to pocketbook because I'm a man on a budget y'all have a good day I am I'm having a great day hope you are too and I'll see you later